What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to TPA If Geek, and today we're going to be doing an airport update for Flint Bishop International Airport update for you guys. I really hope you guys are excited for today's video. If you guys are, please consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and turning on the post notification bell so you never miss out any new content to come. Wow, guys, that feels really good to say, my guys. It feels really good to finally say that we are back to airport updates. Yes, we are. Um, high school has been taking a lot of my time, obviously. Um, first year of high school. So that's taking a lot of my time there, a lot of studying to get done in order to keep the 4.0 GPA. Uh, so yeah, fortunately, uh, so fortunately uh, for the Martin Luther King Day, um, it's coming on Monday. Today's Saturday, January 14th. Um, so yeah, we're able to record a little airport updates here in the evening. Unfortunately, I do have to record it in the evening because I am studying, because I do work now. So unfortunately, work and high school are definitely piling up on me. And they're not giving me much of a break to do airport updates, so hopefully we'll be able to pre-record as many as I can. But this will be the Flint Bishop International Airport Update for the month of January. Uh, a couple changes has happened here as well, some great additions to the collection. So how about we get started right over here at Gate 1 with this United Express uh, Bombardier or Mitsubishi CRJ 550. This aircraft came in sh from Chicago here as United Airlines Flight 4426, operated by GoJet. Um, this aircraft landed in... At 6.07 p.m. ahead of his scheduled 6.19 p.m. arrival from Chicago O'Hare. He's going to be overnighting here today. He's going to be departing out tomorrow morning out to Chicago O'Hare at 6.01 a.m. as United Airlines Flight 4421. Alrighty, and so I did have to turn on the flash for this aircraft right here, unfortunately. The rest of the airport will, uh, update will be without flash. But if I didn't do flash on this, it was going to look very grainy video quality. And I didn't want that for you guys. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to use flash for this one. So right here we have an American Airlines or an American Eagle Ember E-145. Uh, this aircraft came in from Chicago here as American Airlines Flight 3846 at, I believe, let me see, sorry. Let me see how I can get this for you. All right, he came in at 9.35 p.m. ahead of his scheduled 9.40 p.m. arrival. He did depart Chicago a little bit late, which is why he is here uh, almost right at the scheduled arrival time. But this aircraft, like I said, came in from Chicago here. He's currently taxiing out to gate 11. Uh, he came, is coming in operating by Envoy Flight 30, uh, 3846. Unfortunately, um, I do know that this American E-145s for Envoy are starting to phase out. So that's really, really sad there. Uh, so I'm going to try to include it as, in as many Flint Bishop Airport updates as I can. Uh, so yeah, this aircraft came in from Chicago and he is going to be departing out tomorrow morning back out to Chicago at 6.50 a.m. as American Airlines Flight 3694. Alrighty guys, and then switching back over here to regular lighting at gate 6, we have the Allegiant Air Airbus A319 with fin tips in a brand new livery. Uh, this aircraft is uh, definitely a very nice addition to my collection. Very, very happy that the RM Model store, while it was a really good store, while it lasted being a good store, uh, made this um, aircraft possible. So really, really thank you uh, to the RM Model store for releasing this. But yeah, going back to the airport update, we have this Allegiant Airbus A319 in the new livery uh, with Finstep. This aircraft came in from St. Petersburg, Florida as Allegiant Air Flight 3164. At 3.33 p.m., a little bit delayed from a scheduled 3.25 p.m. scheduled arrival. I'm guessing he took a little bit longer than usual because he departed at 12.37 p.m. from St. Petersburg, which was right on time. So I'm not sure why it's a little bit late, but perhaps some weather on the way to Flint. But this aircraft actually came in pretty early. And something that I found interesting was that it came in early, but it's going to overnight here until tomorrow morning at 9 a.m., in which it's going to be departing to Punta Gorda, Florida, as Allegiant Air Flight 3174 at 9 a.m. once again. So really, really interesting to see that aircraft uh, coming to Flint, at least for Allegiant, at 3 p.m. and then they'll overnight until 9 a.m. the next day. So that's more like, we're looking at about 18 hours or so, somewhere around that. So that's definitely a really, really long time sitting for Allegiant at Flint. So really, really cool to see that. Alrighty, and right here at Gate 7, we have a brand new addition to the collection. We have the Allegiant Air Airbus A320 in the Travel Zardio livery. Uh, this aircraft is currently here at Gate 7. Super, super happy to finally have this aircraft. A very nice addition to Flint, and I'm sure El Paso and um, 
Greenville, Spartanburg, we appreciate it. Hopefully Santa Barbara is soon going to get Allegiant, but that's a little bit of a far stretch, and that's a conversation for another video. We are right here at gate 7. We have the Allegiant Airbus A320 in the Travels RD livery. This aircraft came in from Phoenix Mesa Gateway Airport as Allegiant Air Flight 1533 at 5.55 5 p.m. ahead of its scheduled 6.53 p.m. scheduled arrival. So really, really good head start there for those Allegiant passengers. Uh, and this aircraft is going to be overnighting here until tomorrow morning in which he's going to be departing out to Cincinnati, Ohio as Allegiant Air Flight 92. 0, 0 at 7.45 a.m. Alrighty, then right over here next door at gate um, 8, we have the Allegiant Air Airbus A319 in the old livery, Travels are deal. This aircraft is currently sitting here at the gate overnighting after coming in from Nashville, Tennessee as Allegiant Air Flight 3851 at, pardon me, 9.15 p.m. ahead of the scheduled 9.27 p.m. scheduled arrival. And this aircraft is going to be departing out tomorrow to Orlando Sanford as Allegiant Air Flight 3169 at 8.30 a.m. So very, very nice there for this aircraft. Alrighty, you guys. Get settled in for an extensive speech here. Um, very nice airport update today. I really enjoyed making it. So talking about some topics that I wanted to talk on. Um, first off, uh, thank you guys so much for, um, you know, n holding on and never giving up on me and waiting for an upload. I really, really do appreciate that. I know it took forever on the upload and I really, really am so sorry about that. And I'm going to try for it not to happen anymore, but obviously high school and my and work are definitely, like I mentioned, are taking over guys. They really are. But I promise you guys. That I will continue and try to strive to make every single video possible. So jumping on to the next topic. The American Eagle slash American Airlines flight to Charlotte. I haven't seen the flight to Flint. Not sure what happened there. I would have to research and see what happened there. But I'm not 100% on what happened with the flight. So I'm going to do a little bit of extensive research. And if I find anything, I'll add it to the editing of this video. Or if not, I'll mention it on the next month airport update for February. So, yeah, I'm not sure what happened there with the P uh, PSA, American Eagle Series 900 service from Charlotte to uh, Flint and vice versa. Uh, another thing is very nice to see Chicago add the Bombardier Series 550 to the Flint route. Uh, very, very nice to see that along with the Series 200. So they're doing daily flights. At, I believe it's two or three daily flights. There's days where it's two Series 200 and one Series 550. And there's days where it's a Series 200 and CRG 550. So that's fluctuating through. Uh, the American Eagle E145 situation. Yes, those are going to get retired, unfortunately. So I'm going to try my best to put that in every single update I can uh, as realistically as possible. Um, also to you guys, sorry about that. We are in January 2023. So Happy New Year to all of you. I hope you guys had a very great Christmas and a new year. Uh, I will try and get the other video i recorded for you guys which was the canadian fiction later product they uploaded very soon it's gonna be late but hopefully i can upload that on time i do have that recorded so this will be the second video after that and yeah i don't think i have anything else to touch on besides super excited for the gemini just january releases to arrive as, along with some other models that i acquired uh with my work with my job so yeah uh let's wait for those unboxings and trip reports uh to come from cuba fort lauderdale and many other places so yeah, with that, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, please consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and turning on the post notification bell so you never miss out on any new content to come. With that, my name is CPA AFG. I'll see you guys in the next video. As CPA AFG is signing off.